what's up y'all Trey B. Diffin. um so behind me here I have my 1994 Honda Prelude um, it has an F20B motor in it and today I wanted to help you guys I know a common issue for Hondas in general this is not a Prelude specific video this is a kind of more like a Honda specific video um, but uh, sometimes people have problems with that idle where it goes up and down for in between the thousand, two thousand RPMs is just mmm, mmm, it's annoying, super annoying. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna just play a clip right now of, of how it sounds because it's annoying. So yeah, if you have issues like that, I'm pretty much gonna help you diagnose the problem. So stay tuned. <sighs> All right, so. I put the new throttle body on and well not just the new throttle body I'm sorry so I put the new manifold on the skunk 2 manifold and um, I had issues right before I was gonna swap it with my old manifold it was having those revving issues um, I figured I'd do a process of elimination switch everything over the only thing that I swapped over from the old manifold to the new manifold was the idle air control valve if you've never seen one of those um, they come in different shapes and sizes, but the one from my motor looks like this. Sometimes can go on the front of the motor or the back of the motor. So I ordered a new one. So this is a few days later um, from the last clip. Um, but yeah, man. So we're going to throw this on and hopefully it solves my idle issues. Alright, so what you have here is my stock F20B um, intake manifold. On this manifold, the idle air control valve sits right here and this is the old one um, but the idle air control valve sits right here and it um, is held on with two 12 millimeter bolts and it has two coolant lines running to it and then the uh, harness plug for the ISCV valve and uh, you pretty much just take the coolant lines off take the uh, take the harness off take the two 12 millimeters pops right off However, no. I actually have Skunk 2 manifold and it's on the back side. Um, I'm actually, I'm on live Facebook right now. They could tell you that I've been at it for about a good two hours almost. It seems like it anyway. But anyway, um, basically the only true way to get rid of the idle control valve issues or the idle issues um, honestly, you can, they say you can clean them, but that only lasts for so long. The best solution is to just replace it. So, that's pretty much what you got. So, we're going to start her up and see if the, uh, the idle issues are gone. There you have it, man. Um, this is how you solve your idle issues. Um, I mean, you kind of have to track down, uh, you know, what it is. I narrowed it down to the IAC valve. Um, I, I checked the coolant. Coolant was good. Um, I checked the fast idle air valve um, on the old manifold, which is, I, I, I have a Skunk 2 on here, which doesn't have a fast idle air control valve. Um, so I pretty much narrowed it down to this. And um, like I said, you can always clean it, put it back on, but a lot of the times you're going to run into the same issue. Um, sometimes they can be adjusted and cleaned, sometimes they can't. But uh, yeah, man. So if you learned something, hit the like button. Uh, you see that right there? Yeah, go ahead and hit that right there, man. That's the subscribe button. And uh, I'll catch y'all on the next one. The grand opening. I come through and start smoking shit I'm creeping up while I'm approaching you